Hey Baker friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. This week our theme for our artwork is going to be uh, celebrating America. And one of the things I want us to take a look at are um, American symbols. And there are a lot of different symbols that um, remind us of America. But when we create our artwork this week, we're going to focus on three of those symbols um, as we create our artwork. And it's, I thought it would also be appropriate to celebrate America because this past Monday was Memorial Day. And on Memorial Day, we celebrate the men and women who have given their lives in service to the United States so that we can enjoy um, freedom and democracy. So um, this is kind of a, a, a great way um, to, this week we're going to celebrate we're, it'll be a great way to continue our celebration of those men and women as you guys create artwork based upon um, and inspired by american symbols but first i want us to think about what is a symbol and a symbol can be a person a place or a thing that represents something else and if we think about um so to give us a few examples at the bottom of the slide i have uh, pictured some hearts. And if you think about the image of a heart, it brings to mind, hmm, most people would say the heart symbolizes love. Um, I have another picture of a dove with sort of an olive branch in its mouth. And if you would say to somebody, well, what does a dove symbolize to you? Most people would say peace. And the last symbol I have here is um, it has the intertwined snakes and then there's uh, some wings and then there's like a sort of a, uh, I guess a scepter coming kind of down the middle. And that is a symbol for doctors. And so when you see that symbol, it makes you think doctor. So today we're gonna learn about um, American symbols and three uh, special ones in particular. And the first one is going to be the American flag. And I have here five different um, versions of the American flag that have been a part of history. So back in 1777, the flag had 13 stripes and 13 stars. And in 1795, it had 20 stars and 13 stripes. In 1818, it had 20 stars and 13 stripes. In 1912, it had 48 stars and 13 stripes. And in 1960, it had 50 stars and 13 stripes. So I want us to take a look at, well, what do the stars mean? And what do the red and white stripes mean? Um, so the 13 um, red and white horizontal stripes are, as I just said, those have been a part of the flag um, in its entirety. And then the blue rectangle in the top corner of the flag has also been around since the beginning. But now in its current um, design, the flag has 50 white stars. So let's see, what do those represent? So most of us know that the, the stars represent the number of states. So throughout history, the number of stars would increase as states were added to the United States. And we know that the United States currently has 50 states. Now those red and white stripes represent, um, those 13 stripes represent the original 13 colonies that then became the first states of the United States. So that's why the first flag had 13 stars and 13 stripes. Now, why did the founding fathers um, and the people who designed the flag, why did they choose stripes and why did they choose stars? Well, the stripes are symbols of rays of light coming from the sun and the stars are symbolic of the heavens and goals that people are working to achieve. And even still, if we think about the stars, like many times we'll say to somebody, reach for a star or 
um, I'm going to give you a gold star. So stars are symbolic of achievement and of like reaching high, you know, stars are up in the heavens. So that makes a lot of sense. And a lot of times when we draw the sun, we just do, you know, those, the, um, the vertical, horizontal and um, diagonal lines coming out from the sun. So, so it's kind of appropriate that they used, um, and the sun is bright and strong and powerful. So it's kind of appropriate that they use those elements when designing the flag. So one of our um, options this week for designing an art, art pro or creating an art project will be different um, things centered around the theme of the American flag. Now, another symbol of the United States is the bald eagle or the American eagle. And the bald eagle was chosen back on June 20th in 1782 as the official emblem of the United States of America. And the reason why the eagle was chosen was because it has long life, it's powerful and strong, and it's also really, when it spreads its wings, it's very majestic and beautiful. So that's some of the reasons why the bald eagle was chosen as a symbol. Um, it's the bald eagle represents, uh, it's a stands as a symbol of our freedom. And I wanted to show you guys, the eagle appears on official seals of the United States. So down in the right hand corner here, there's a, the presidential seal and on it, it features the eagle. Um, and then if you look at a lot of our money, um, uh, as our paper money on the dollar bill. You can see here there's a, an eagle there and also on the back of quarters. And it, um, eagles also ap appear a lot of times on our stamps as well. The last uh, symbol of America that we're going to look at this week is the Statue of Liberty. And I have a couple pictures here of her. And when we think about the Statue of Liberty, um, she was a gift from the people of France, and for more than a hundred years, she has symbolized freedom and democracy. Um, and the Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island in New York's harbor. As part of your lesson this week, there's a really wonderful book called Her Right Foot, and it's a story about the Statue of Liberty. And I um, created a video of me reading the story, and I hope that you take a few minutes and listen to this story because it tells you some interesting facts um, more than I'm going to cover here about the Statue of Liberty and it's just a really nice story that I think you will enjoy. Um, so the Statue of Liberty, we know she, she's a woman in a long flowing robe and one of the other neat facts about her is that she is one of the largest statues ever built. So let's look at some of the symbols that are part of her design. Um, on her head is a crown and there are seven spikes that are coming out from that crown and they weren't just put there um, randomly. These spikes represent the seven seas that are found in the world um, and then also the seven continents that are found in the world. Then if we look at some other parts of her design, she has um, her raised right hand is holding a torch that has a light. Um, the torch is lit and that torch is symbolic of lighting a path to freedom. And then in her other hand, she has a tablet and on the tablet, there's the date uh, July 4th, 1776. And you might say, well, Mrs. Herbie, those don't look like regular numbers and the numbers that are on the tablet are called roman numerals but those roman numerals signify um, july 4 1776 um, and that as you know is the date of our independence from england and so that is and also the day that the declaration of independence was signed so that's um, symbolic again of our freedom in our democracy. And then last but not least, around the feet of the Statue of Liberty, there are some broken chains. And those broken chains are also symbolizing um, a breaking away. Chain, when you think of a chain, you might think of something enslaved or slavery, but when the chain is broken, then it sort of, rep it symbolizes freedom. So those are 
some key symbols and meanings to these three, um, to the Statue of Liberty. And so this week, as you uh, go about selecting an art project to create, think about whether you want to um, explore the Statue of Liberty, whether you want to explore the eagle, or whether you want to explore the American flag. And the other cool thing is that a lot of times you can um, combine those symbols so together to uh, create create art as well. So I can't wait to see what you create. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon.